News from Splash House. Good news for festival goers. A group of uh, some nearby residents, though, near one of the Splash House venues, says that they are uh, not happy with all the noise coming from the event. Now, event organizers say they're introducing some uh, new technologies this weekend that should help with uh, the noise. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez has more on those neighbors' frustrations and how they say they have not felt heard from the city in years. For 10 years, Splash House has brought in hundreds of thousands of people. The event is held at Cigarro, Margaritaville, and Renaissance Hotels during the day. When the sun goes down, it's at the Palm Springs Air Museum until 2 a.m. Residents from nearby community Asina says the noise coming from the museum has been an ongoing issue for them. It's this bass, drumming, you know, thumping that starts to happen from around 1 to 2 a.m. And even if you've gone to sleep at 10 or 11 or whatever it is, you wake up and this thumping is just so loud. Carol and her partner live just on the other side of this wall. It's across the street from the museum. The music, now an annoyance. It's very, very disturbing for not only for me, but for all the people here that live in Asina that hear this. The city of Palm Springs and Splash House do have a noise complaint hotline. Residents, though, saying it's not enough and feel nothing has ever been resolved when calling in. They say they feel ignored every year by event organizers and the city. Folks are frustrated and they've uh, reached a point of resignation that nothing's going to happen. Splash House's response to News Channel 3 on the complaints claims they work closely with residents, the city, and code enforcement to respond and relay complaints to the production team. Also saying a solution is coming this weekend. A statement from event staff saying in part, we are introducing new audio monitoring technology to provide the information we need to better adjust audio levels on the event stages in real time. City of Palm Springs Mayor Grace Gardner says she's also working on a solution, asking any resident affected by the noise to continue voicing their concerns to help. We are look, going to be looking at the base levels um, and what that looks like in our noise ordinance, and that's going to be coming up at an upcoming council meeting. Until then, residents like Carol and Rod are hoping this weekend's solution actually works, and the city takes into consideration their needed peace. Crystal Jimenez, News Channel 3. 6.39 is the time now. The head of Maui's Emergency Management Agency is out.